Hello, I'm Norman Swan. There's good news and bad news about alcohol consumption among Australian adults. The good news is that overall drinking patterns are improving, and part of that is no doubt because of the advice you're giving as a GP. The bad news is that under the radar, and possibly under your radar too, are the men and women, mostly men over 40, who according to the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare have been drinking at a potentially dangerous level all their adult lives and continue to do so. They think they're bulletproof and don't feel any different. But as you know only too well, as they age, they're doing themselves increasing damage. For example, fatty tissue changes in their muscles can lead to higher blood alcohol concentrations. Alcohol stays in their livers longer, increasing the risk of damage. If they're overweight or obese with fatty liver, then there's a higher risk of cirrhosis. Their coordination, vision, hearing and reflexes become more easily impaired, putting them at risk of injuries. Alcohol can interfere with their medications. And in women, there's a higher risk of breast cancer. So what can you do as a GP? Well, you can talk to them about how often they're drinking, how many drinks they have on a typical day, and how often they have five or more drinks on a single occasion. Some patients may need your trusted advice to bring down their consumption. And you may find the RACGP practice guidelines helpful. For those adults who do drink, there should be no more than two standard drinks per day on average, and no more than four standard drinks on a single occasion. For those planning a pregnancy, pregnant or breastfeeding, not drinking is the safest option. For more information on this, go to the RACGP website.